Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will start a new series of videos specially made for absolute beginners in AutoCAD. If you are a beginner and you want to learn to draw in this program straight away, this is for sure the video for you. I will give here all the explanations that you need to draw without opening any AutoCAD book. So let's get started. First of all, we will put this drawing into our workspace to draw much easier and faster. So before every single drawing, you need to be sure that you will draw in the perfect units or the correct units for you. So for this, you will type units and you will press enter. And automatically it will be open this window. So for this one, I will select decimal because if you are not an architect, you should better go for the decimal because it's the most used in this way. Precision, I highly suggest to go just with three decimals if it's not something more important that you need. Then, if you're not an American, I will go with the international units. And for me, in this case, I will choose to go with centimeters. This is just my option. And I will press OK. So the first step, it will be to see the drawing, how it looks, and from where to start. I highly suggest to start from the biggest point or the middle point, let's say, and we'll start like this. Here you see that we have two circles. The first circle, it will be with the diameter of 40 units, as you see here, and the other one, it will be with the diameter of 80 units. For this one, I will use the circle command. For example, I will go here, I will press the symbol and I am able to draw a circle or another option it will be to write circle press enter and I will be able to draw a circle as well but I suggest every time to just write the commands because it's much faster and much simple until you find where the command is depends of the AutoCAD version so let's write circle press enter and select a point whenever you want because it doesn't matter and now as you see we will build a circle and the next number that we will write there it will be actually the radius of the circle we need the diameter so let's have a look here specify radius the number he means or diameter and I will write diameter press enter and now as you see we are able to write the measurement of the diameter so our diameter it's 40 so i will write 40 and press enter the next step it will be to build the next circle the next circle is with a radius of 80 so we need to build it from the same center let's select the circle first of all as you see here it automatically generate our middle if you're not able to see the middle write the settings press enter and here it will be a window with all the settings that you need. For example, if you have these commands not checked, I highly suggest to check them. For example, endpoint, midpoint, center, geometric center, quadrant, and so on. For example, in my case, to be able to see where this point is, I must select the center. So you can select all of them, you can select just a part of them, it doesn't matter. So I will press OK. Now I want to build another circle. So I will write again the circle command, press enter, and I will find the middle, as you see here, and it will be written center. Press click, and again I need the diameter, not the radius measurement. So I will write diameter, and I will type 80 units, press enter. And I have it exactly like in this drawing. The next step, it will be to cut these little arches. For this, I need to build a line from one side and the other. So a line of basically 30 units because this point is exactly in the middle. And then to build two lines straight up. I can click here, line. Or as I showed you before, I can type line. And to build a line is the same thing delete these lines so line command starting from the quadrant point you see here because I checked previously quadrant so I need to have a line but to be a straight one not a line with a specific angle for this I must click here at ortho command 
you see here the symbol or I can type ortho press enter and it will select it enter mode off or on and I will select on it is basically the same thing so I will press it and now I will type again line after that I am able you see to build just straight lines with 90 degree angles so I will write 30 units press enter the same thing I will do it in the other part as well so line and I will press again the length of the line that means 30 units then I will build another two lines from one side and the other so I will go up and it doesn't matter the distance so press just line now again line build another line good let's delete now these little arches for this one i will use the trim command but first of all i will select this line and this circle you can select this line as well and now i will press trim enter with this command i'm able to delete this arch so i will click on it and it will be deleted i will do it in the same time the next step it will be to select these two little lines and just delete them press delete key now to delete the extra parts here use the trim command again so you can select the entire drawing it's not a problem just be sure that you selected everything and press again trim now i am able to trim the extra parts as you see here If you want to zoom in or to zoom out, just click on the wheel mouse and you will be able to do it. Now, the next step, you see here that we have another two circles, basically four circles, but here is just the arch, not the entire circle. So for this thing, so let's go with a line of 30 plus 30, because we will assume that this point is exactly in the middle. So that means we will build a line from this center because all these three centers are on the same line. So we will build a line from this until the next center with 60 units. Line command, find the middle, be sure that it is here, you see center and build a line of 60 units from this point we will build another circle so right circle select the end point here and type diameter and 30 units because as you see here the interior one it with a diameter of 30 and the exterior one it will be with a di with a radius of 30 units and from the same point we will build another circle, the exterior one, as I said to you before, from endpoint or the center, because now is the same point, and type 30, because now we will build the radius. So now we will type the length of the radius. Press enter. Good. The same thing, we will do it in the other side as well. So we will build a line of 60 units. And we will construct these two circles. So circle command and press diameter and press 30. It's basically the same thing if you want to stay at the radius and to type there a radius of 15. It's the same thing. It will be generated the same circle. Now another circle with the radius of 30 press enter now as you see here we have a line right here from the quadrant until the other quadrant but until that time we can delete those two lines so be sure that you select both of them and press delete key i will use now the line command again and find the quadrant the quadrant is this little green point so until you reach the other one and press click escape now we can copy this line because basically it will be the same with the other one. So select this line and press copy. Go with this point, the end point, click and go straight away here. 
and now your line will be copied good now let's use the trim command again so press trim command or you can select the drawing and start to trim but in my case i need to trim also this part so trim and as you see our drawing now it's perfect i hope this video helped you if you are a beginner don't hesitate to check the other playlist as well even in 3d if you are interested don't forget to like share my content subscribe to my channel and see you next time